Canon Print Business App allows you to use your iOS device to scan documents from and print documents to an image runner advance. In this video, you'll be using the iPad as an example. Canon Print Business App is a free app that can be downloaded from the App Store. In this video, you will first scan a hard copy from an image runner advance directly onto your iPad's local hard drive and then print the stored document from your iPad to an image runner advance. To get started, you will need to download the Canon Print Business app from the App Store onto your iPad. Once downloaded, press the Canon Print Business app button to open the app. The Canon Print Business app main menu displays. You can press Documents to print documents stored on your iPad's local hard drive, images stored in photo albums, and web page content. You can also print documents from iCloud, Dropbox, and Google Drive if you have an account with these services. Press X to close the window and return to the main menu. From the main menu, you can also use the Capture function to print images taken from your iPad's camera and other application to access additional applications. To scan a document, you first must select the printer you want to scan from. The last printer selected is displayed in the lower left corner. You can select any available printer on the network. To select a printer, press the Options menu in the upper right corner and press the Select Printer button from the list of options. A list of available printers on the network displays. You can use Auto Search to automatically discover printers on your network. Or you can manually add a printer to the list of available printers. In this example, you will add the printer manually. To add the printer, press Manual Search and enter the IP address of the device you want to add. Press Search to search for the device with the IP address you just entered. And select the discovered device. Press Add to confirm your selection. The device you just added is now displayed in the list of printers. Tap the screen twice to return to the main menu. Now that you have selected the device, press Scan to start the scanning process. A message displays prompting you to select the Canon Mobile Scanning MEEP application on the Image Runner Advanced Control Panel. Find the Canon Mobile Scanning MEEP application on the Image Runner Advanced Control Panel and press the button to open the application. The iPad and the Image Runner Advance will initiate a handshake and exchange information they need to communicate with each other. Once the iPad and the Image Runner Advance have established a connection, return to your iPad and press Continue. Before you scan your document, you can press the Settings icon to display a list of scanning settings. In this example, you can select color or black and white, scan resolution, size of the original document being scanned, the file format you want the document to be saved in, two-sided or single-sided scanning, the type of original being scanned, and the density. Tap the screen to close the settings window. Follow the prompt and place the hard copy in the document feeder or on the platen glass. When you're ready, press Scan. A preview of the first page of the scanned document will display. You can swipe to view any additional pages. Your document is automatically assigned a file name using a date and time format. To navigate to the document you just scanned, press the back button in the upper left-hand corner and press X to close out the scanning operation and return to the main menu. Your document is stored on the local drive on your iPad device. To access the iPad's local drive, press the Documents button. Select Local to access the iPad's local hard drive and Documents to open the Documents folder. A list of documents stored on your iPad's local hard drive including the document you just scanned, is displayed. Now that you've seen how to scan a document from an Image Runner Advance to your iPad, 
Let's see how you can print a stored document from your iPad to an Image Runner Advance. Press X in the upper left hand corner to close the window and return to the main menu. You can print any document stored on your local drive. For example, to print the document you just scanned, you would first select the document from the list. A preview of the document displays. Next, you would select the printer you want to print your stored document to. In this example, you will print to the printer that is currently selected. However, you could select another printer following the same steps you use during the scanning process. To change your print settings, you would press the printer icon button. A preview of the document and the print settings will display. The list of settings is dependent on how the current printer selected has been set up. For example, on this printer you can select the output method, output size, number of copies, print range, paper source, color or black and white, two-sided, stapled, and two-on-one to print the front and back sides of a page on one side of a page. In this example, you want to print a two-sided document. Tap the screen to close the settings window. When you're ready, press Print to print your document.